and welcome back to another edition of Let's Play No One Lives Forever 2, where we are exploring an underwater facility, searching for something that I haven't found before in this game. <clears throat> 2. Professor Hibbert from Commander Pym. I understand you have filed a complaint with headquarters about the cancellation of Project Epsilon. My dear professor, you cannot possibly consider that mess salvageable. <clears throat> uh, the last thing we need th this close to condition Omega is an overly ambitious, inadequately managed distraction like Epsilon, draining our resources and undermining morale. Okay. Whoa, these walls are all shiny and stuff. I just noticed that. And this table is... What the hell is this? What is this supposed to be? That's a weird ass table. I tell you. What the f damn chairs getting stuck on me? Oh, right. More presents. Thanks, Santa. You dick. He's been like everywhere. They keep sending me on these missions, and then Santa's already been here. Oh, yeah, they closed themselves. Uh, shipping manifest. Four dozen harm uniforms. Black and red. Please return the old uniforms to headquarters for recycling. Yeah, that's the game uniforms, isn't it? Those, like, purple and pink ones. <laughs> Uh, duty roster changes. Please note that Frank's team is moving to day shifts this week. I guess that's what happens when you whine like a sissy about not getting enough sleep. Sheesh. Uh, that was useless. Uh, okay, let's see what we have. That's something. This is... Who's there? Whoa! What? Oh. Get over here! You gotta be shitting me. Boom. Here Alarm. I come! No. Oh crap! No! Reload quickly and die! Shit. Shit. God damn it. I hate alarms. I just hate them. Especially down here because it's cramped. And I don't have a shotgun. Shotguns would be ideal in this level. So of course you don't get them. To all personnel from Megan O'Malley. O'Malley? O'Malley? Oh, fuck it. Morale officer. Hi, everyone. As you know, we recently held a contest inviting all employees to submit ideas for the new harm mission statement. Thanks for all the four of your all four of your entries. Unfortunately, there's only room for one mission statement on the harm emblem, so three of you are just plain out of luck. Here's the third place entry. Our mission is to proactively develop globally appreciable expertise in order to build a sustainable result results oriented evil enterprise. What? <laughs> you want me to find those? Seriously? <coughs> uh, urgent notice. Robot robots are not to be deployed in the umbilicus under any circumstances. Their targeting systems aren't sophisticated enough to distinguish between enemy agents and large fish. I'm sure even the least imaginative of you can predict the consequences of robots shooting passing sea creatures through the glass. What? Here comes Whoa. Papa. Whoa, crap, crap, crap. Oh, Wrong button. Oh man, I'm bleeding. Yeah. And you're dying. Crap. What the hell triggered the alarm that time? Oh, you had body armor at least. Yeah, no sense being sneaky. Oh, okay. That's what triggered the alarm. 
There's a camera that doesn't even look like a camera. Did I get it? Oh, yeah, I did. Balls. <clears throat> well, now I know what the cameras look like, so I might, might be able to take them out before they spot me. Probably not, though. To all section chiefs from admin, the new harm letterhead has arrived. Sup Supply will be picking up the old letterheads later this week for recycling. Well, at least they recycle stuff. What? Oh, crap! I forgot to kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, I'm just gonna leave him. He'll, he'll run around and I'll get to try and kill him later, hopefully. Lush. Water go down the hole. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back over here. Um, maybe down a level. Uh, let's see what we got. This, okay, and here's uh, this place. Guys that I haven't looted. With nothing on them. <clears throat> to all personnel from Megan O'Melody, morale officer. Hello, folks. Here's the second place entry in the mission statement contest. Our aim is to enthusiastically explore new maintainable law-breaking paradigms or paradigms or paradigms digs gyms in order to fully functionalize our evil doing opportunities and actualize our potential. Right. Don't need stamina. I need weapons. That's what I need. Damage upgrades. Is that it? That's yeah, that's it. That was the it. <clears throat> so what now? Mm, yeah, that's just tracking darts. Nothing there. I guess I could move over to hey! <laughs> Boom. So this is where where you went. Was there a gun here? How do you get a gun? Yeah, that is the guy, because otherwise the search war bar the uh, search bar would have been longer. Okay, let's try this. Don't crash on me, game. Don't crash. I will not like you if you do. Try to dispatch quietly, okay. Good game. Find out where Armstrong is being held. Yes. That is why I'm here. Oh, I remember this. This Just... is the fifth time I've had to switch offices since I started. There we go. Oh. wants to keep the teams together for efficiency. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I thought you died. Did you die there? Looks like... Oh, God. I saw you this time. I saw you. Haha. <laughs> and there's a robot up there. <clears throat> to Confucius Lee Robotics Department from Commander Pym. Mr. Lee, I came across an inoperative robot on the crew deck this morning. It seems to have shorted itself out by jamming a fork into an electrical outlet. Is this behavior normal? <laughs> oh, look at that. I could open that. And close it. Sweetness. Okay, so now I'm under them. Whoa. Wonder if I can search them from here. That would be weird, but yeah. Sweet. Stealthy like. 
<clears throat> the way we are supposed to be for the entire game. Except we're not. We are... Oh. That looked like a camera to me. From below. And I don't have my decoder. Like, what's the point of sending me in without the decoder and lockpicks and such? That's just silly game. Not giving me the tools of a secret agent while playing a secret agent. Yeah, you scared me. I, 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 I would have done that anyway. Whoa! Oh yeah, I can't kill the robot. Perfect. Whoa. Yeah, this is what I mean. I don't like this part. Because of those robots. They are annoying. <clears throat> to Commander Pym from Captain Clayton. The maiden voyage of the super secret submarine was an unmitigated success. Except for a few leaks in the engine room. And the fact that we lost power for 15 minutes for no apparent reason. Yeah, that's an unmitigated success right there. I'm also happy to report that the radar tests far exceeded expectations. We were able to sneak up behind a US warship and held profan and weld profanities into her hull, which should cause an uproar next time she's in dry dock. <laughs> that <laughs> is a funny practical joke. That's just awesome. <laughs> Two all team leaders from Commander Pym. Priority top secret. This communique is to advise you of a meeting this t Thursday to discuss the rapidly escalating situation with the supercomputer service department. We either need to completely overhaul the new requisition system or hire 16 new service representatives to handle the workload. Given our already astronomical administrative overhead, staffing up that dramatically isn't really an option. Right. <clears throat> what is that? Whoa! I ain't taking the blame for this. Oh, it sounded like it was that door open, but apparently not. Okay, I can hide down here. Open. Okay. Oh, I can search it too, but not remain hidden. To Dr. Hall, <coughs> Dr. Hall from maintenance. We've installed the test subject pods according to your specifications. We're going to be pretty busy this week because of the air conditioning meltdown. So be sure to let us know well in advance, meaning 24 hours, not 15 minutes, if you need alter <coughs> alterations. Right. Keep going, hopefully. Oh, hello. You went that way, I'm going this way. What's this? To Commander Pym from Confucius Lee Robotics Department. Commander, as you recall, I was instructed to follow sec Security Chief Fenster's design specifications explicitly, which I begrudgingly did. While Chief Fenster was very particular about making the robots invulnerable to small arms fire and even most explosive devices, he didn't think to insulate the circuitry. So they're highly susceptible to electricity. This isn't the first report of a robot suicide. Maybe it's because they weren't ac <laughs> accepted for Project Omega. <laughs> Aww. Robot's feelings got hurt. Hello. Um. Oh! I like what I got there. Can't pick up the boots, but look at that. Electrical charge ammo. That should be what I need to kill the robots. Sweet. There it is. There it is is. Oh, I've got you now, robot. I've got you now. Boom. I know you're there! 
Oh, it blew up. On the video's over, I gotta have to hide somewhere. Yeah, here will be good. So next time on Let's Play No One Lives Forever 2, we uh, kill some robots and have fun.